so this was back in March when I started the work. It's just called Always. I really wanted to do a piece that was in the public eye that addressed the very fresh condition of dealing with the pandemic. And I realized that I really wanted to talk about getting past this moment. I started to look at art from different eras after certain plagues and the pandemic that was the closest in relationship was the Spanish flu, what they call the Spanish flu. So I started to look at work that was made in the exact year when it ended, which was 1920. I found a piece by Raoul Dufy that was a pattern, like a fabric pattern that he had designed, which I felt was perfect and it would block the window and block the view, but also accentuate the space in between public and private. We were stuck at home. I had to deal with what I had at my house. And I just happened to have this high reflective vinyl that I had used on a similar project in 2010. The vinyl itself is just like a very neutral gray and you can't really see it unless you use a flash. So the work itself can be seen in the daylight, um, but it's most effective at night when you bring your cell phone and turn on the flash. Now, because it's high density reflective vinyl, it flashes back the equal intensity of the light. So when you do use a flash on your camera, on your phone, all of the pattern lights back at you. And so that just came naturally. I was like the vinyl, the windows, the pattern, the reflection, the interaction, people can see the work without having to be near anyone. You can activate it from your car. So Over My Shoulder is a really exciting piece by Melissa Bogley Woods and it's called Always CMA and it's actually a piece that has a pattern that was extrapolated from a work from our collection. Um, it's Louis Boucher's Still Life with Flowers that was painted in 1919 during the Spanish Influenza. And Melissa had the wonderful idea to kind of remind everybody that we were, are in a very difficult moment, um, but that it will pass. With this work, it was the same concept to make the same point, but it really leveraged art history in a different way because it is at an institution. And she took the pattern from this more traditional looking still life with a big, beautiful, energetic grouping of flowers and she made a very abstract geometric pattern which she then tiled into this beautiful wallpaper to cover this whole glass canopy. This is the first piece that I've made that I didn't make with my hands. It's been really, really collaborative. The museum, they did a lot of work to find this vinyl and I believe it's 130 feet. It's something that you're gonna be able to experience in any different kind of condition. If there's a second wave, if it's cold, if it's rainy, if you can't see the museum, if it's off hours, that's just, it's always gonna be there. And it creates a really beautiful entranceway to the museum, especially as we'll be reopening after a long period of closure. Also, if you put a little um, piece of colored cellophane on top of the flash only, it'll turn the entire piece of color then you own that piece at the end. This museum, which was founded in 1878, has survived two world wars, the Great Depression, the Spanish influenza pandemic, and we will survive this too. And that basically was the message that Melissa's piece was also reflecting at the same time. Something about the light being brought to the piece from within, that you have that light on you. And this piece is just a reflection of what you already hold in yourself and I felt that was really important shining this kind of beacon of hope back to the people who came to see the work. We are at Hammond Harkins Gallery and this is my exhibition called Out of the Blue. It's a series of 36 cyanotype photograms. So a cyanotype is like a photographic print because it uses light when you block the sun those areas don't expose, and it just happens to expose to blue. So there's some really direct contacts um, between the Always installations and this work, which 
is visible in this pattern, and that uh, pattern is pulled directly from a combination of the always pattern at my house and the always pattern at CMA. The idea of this show really came out from the shadows that I see on the inside of my house when people take photos. I started to think about, well, what is the internal view of this external piece that I made? And it became really important that I did a process that was photographic, that was based on light, because the other piece was based on light, which then connects to my ideas about like history and erasure and what is brought to the light and what is suppressed.